What if I told you the US Air Force is transforming a 70-year-old bomber into a cutting-edge war machine designed to fly until 2050 and beyond? Yes, the legendary B-52 Stratofortress, affectionately known as the Buff, an aircraft that first graced the skies in 1952, is undergoing not just a simple refurbishment, but a radical, transformative metamorphosis. This isn't just about keeping an old plane in the air, it's about imbuing it with the vitality and capability to dominate the skies for decades to come. As part of the most ambitious and extensive upgrade program in its distinguished history, the B-52 is being fitted with brand new, state-of-the-art Rolls-Royce F-130 engines, a move that will breathe new life into this venerable airframe and extend its service life by a staggering three more decades, deep into the mid-21st century. But let's be real. If someone had told you back in the 50s that this plane would still be relevant nearly a century later, you'd probably have laughed them off. And yet, here we are. The B-52 is not just surviving, it's thriving. And the biggest question on everyone's mind is, why Rolls-Royce? Why not General Electric or Pratt & Whitney? two giants of American industry with deeply entrenched histories in military aviation. This seemingly unconventional choice hints at something much bigger happening behind the scenes. Some experts believe there's far more to this monumental upgrade than meets the casual eye. Could this engine selection, this radical reimagining of a Cold War icon, be intrinsically linked to the advent of hypersonic weapons, the evolving landscape of next-generation nuclear deterrents, or perhaps even a clandestine, highly classified military program operating in the shadows. The possibilities are as vast as the skies the B-52 commands. Today, we're not just scratching the surface. We're diving deep to break down the critical elements of this transformative project. Why the B-52 remains crucial to U.S. air power despite its venerable age of nearly 70 years. The intriguing decision to choose Rolls-Royce over domestic competitors. The hidden strategic advantages of this upgrade and what it portends for the future of warfare. How this extensive upgrade program fits into the broader, long-term strategic vision of the U.S. military. The role of emerging technologies in shaping the very future of aerial combat. Before we take flight and delve into the intricate details, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates on the ever-evolving world of military aviation. Alright, buckle up and prepare for takeoff. Let's unravel the mysteries of the B-52's incredible second life. The B-52 Stratofortress is far more than just an aircraft. It's a living legend, an enduring symbol of American air power. First introduced during the Cold War as a nuclear deterrent, it has evolved over the decades to take on new missions, making it one of the most adaptable bombers in history. While the B-2 Spirit and the upcoming B-21 Raider represent the cutting edge of stealth technology, the B-52 remains indispensable due to its sheer versatility and proven capabilities. The unmatched advantages of the B-52 unrivaled payload capacity. The B-52 can carry a staggering 70,000 pounds of munitions, from traditional bombs to long-range cruise missiles and nuclear weapons. Its firepower surpasses that of any other strategic bomber in the U.S. inventory, with a range of over 8,800 miles and the ability to refuel mid-air, the B-52 can strike anywhere on the planet without needing to land. That's a level of strategic reach few aircraft in history can claim. Over the years, the B-52 has proven itself in various roles, from high-altitude strategic bombing to close air support and electronic warfare. Its upcoming integration with hypersonic weapons will further enhance its relevance in 21st century conflicts. Unlike stealth aircraft that rely on delicate coatings and intricate materials, the B-52's simple, rugged design makes it an ideal candidate for continuous modernization. It has outlived multiple generations of aircraft that were once considered cutting-edge. Instead of investing billions into designing a new heavy bomber, the U.S. Air Force has chosen to extend the B-52's service life, making it a fiscally responsible decision that delivers unmatched capabilities at a fraction of the cost. Operating from bases around the world, the B-52 ensures U.S. military influence remains visible and formidable. Whether in the Pacific, the Middle East, or beyond, it's always watching. Whether deterring adversaries with nuclear weapons, launching conventional strikes, or participating in networked warfare alongside modern aircraft, the B-52 remains a vital part of the Air Force's strategic arsenal. Standoff capability With its ability to launch long-range weapons from outside enemy air defenses, the B-52 remains a relevant asset even in heavily contested airspace. 
Despite these advantages, one major issue has threatened the B-52's operational longevity, its outdated engines. The B-52's Pratt and Whitney TF-33 engines have powered the bomber since the 1960s, but they are now a liability due to their inefficiency and maintenance challenges. The TF-33 burns significantly more fuel than modern engines, limiting range and increasing operational costs. These engines require extensive upkeep, making it costly and time-consuming to keep the B-52 fleet mission ready. Finding replacement parts is becoming increasingly difficult, leading to logistical headaches for maintenance crews. Recognizing the need for an upgrade, the Air Force launched the Commercial Engine Replacement Program, which led to the selection of Rolls-Royce's F-130 engine. The U.S. Air Force awarded Rolls-Royce a $2.6 billion contract to supply 608 F-130 engines to modernize the B-52 fleet. But why Rolls-Royce over competitors like General Electric and Pratt and Whitney? The F-130 is derived from the Rolls-Royce BR-700 series, which powers high-performance business jets known for reliability and efficiency. Consuming 20-30% to 30 less fuel, the F-130 extends the B-52's range and reduces operational costs. The F-130 is designed for long service intervals, significantly reducing downtime and maintenance costs. Rolls-Royce's engine was chosen because it integrates well with the B-52's existing systems, minimizing the complexity of the upgrade. With these engines, the B B-52 is expected to remain operational well into the 2050s and beyond. Will these Rolls-Royce engines keep the B-52 flying for another 30 years? Absolutely. But this upgrade is about more than just fuel savings and reliability, it's about keeping a strategic asset relevant in modern warfare. The integration of hypersonic weapons, advanced radar systems, and AI-driven warfare capabilities will make the B-52J one of the most formidable bombers in history, even as it approaches its 100th anniversary. The B-52's story is one of resilience, adaptability, and unparalleled longevity. As technology advances, this bomber continues to evolve, proving that true legends never fade. What do you think? Does this transformation make the B-52J a force to be reckoned with? Or should the Air Force invest in an entirely new platform? Let me know in the comments. The same radar technology used in advanced fighter jets like the F-35 will be installed in the B-52, giving it improved detection and targeting capabilities. The upgraded B-52 will soon be able to carry hypersonic missiles, including the AGM-183ARRW. These will enhance the bomber's ability to jam enemy defenses and increase survivability. The B-52 will be integrated into the U.S. military's advanced battlefield networks, allowing it to share data with other aircraft, satellites, and ground forces in real time. Some believe the B-52J could become a critical platform for nuclear deterrence in future conflicts, new classified surveillance roles, carrying next-gen AI-driven defense systems, manned-unmanned teaming with autonomous drone swarms. Could this engine upgrade be part of a larger military strategy that's still classified? Let me know what you think in the comments. So, will Rolls-Royce engines keep the B-52 flying for another 30 years? Absolutely. But is this upgrade just about reducing fuel costs? Probably not. With new engines, advanced radar systems, and hypersonic missile integration, the B-52J could become one of the most versatile and powerful bombers ever created, even as it approaches its 100th birthday. What do you think? Is this upgrade just about keeping an old warbird in the air, or is the Air Force preparing the B-52J for a new kind of warfare? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like this video to support the channel, subscribe for more aviation content, turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Blue skies and tailwinds.